breathe. What is the best way to breathe? Posterior breathing, ujjayi breathing, chichang breath, breath, Pilates breathing. What I recommend is nasal bore breathing. Hey, I'm Rebecca. I'm a certified yoga, Pilates, and fitness instructor. I've been teaching. I have been teaching while most of you were in sixth grade. What I recommend in my classes and to my clients is nasal bore breathing. It's like a little breathing hack. Are you familiar with nasal bore breathing? If you are, please comment below. I want to know what you think of it and your experience with it. Bore breathing refers to a breathing technique named after scientist Niels Bohr. He studied how our body uses oxygen and gets rid of carbon dioxide. This technique helps us to breathe better when we're doing things like exercising or playing sports or just playing. Imagine your body is like a machine that needs fuel to work, like a car needs gas. The fuel your body is using is oxygen, which we get from the air that we breathe. When you move around or do activities, your body uses oxygen and makes a waste called carbon dioxide. Boar breathing helps you get more oxygen and get rid of the carbon dioxide faster. I recommend boar nasal breathing. It's super effective because our nose does some pretty cool things, like it helps us stay healthy and strong, you think of your nose like a gatekeeper that helps the air coming into your body. When you breathe through your nose, it's like a filter. It has its own essential air. The air outside might be cold, but your nose warms it up before you go outside. This is important because your lungs like warm air. Imagine your nose is like a cozy blanket. Hmm. It's also like a humidifier. It adds moisture. Air can sometimes be dry, but your nose adds some moisture to it. It's like giving a drink to the air so it doesn't feel too dry for your body. And of course, it's known for its famous smelling abilities. Your nose helps you enjoy delicious smells like pizza or beautiful scents like flowers. It's like a special sensor that tells your brain about the things around you. So when you breathe through your nose, you're not just getting air into your body. You're also getting air that's been cleaned, warmed up, and made just right for your body at this moment. This helps your body work more efficiently, especially when you're running around or doing any fun things or doing yoga. That's why nasal breathing is like a superpower. Oh. It's super effective at keeping you healthy and strong. Okay, now back to boar breathing. The boar effect is a way to explain how hemoglobin, a part of our blood that carries oxygen, behaves when things change in our body. When we have more carbon dioxide, our body's pH, which is a measure of how acidic or basic it is, goes down. Hemoglobin doesn't hold onto oxygen as tightly. So when your body's more acidic, this means it's willing to let go of the oxygen it's carrying out of the bloodstream and into the rest of the body. This change helps our body because it makes it easier for the oxygen to go from our blood into the tissues where it's needed. Isn't that cool? So the Bohr effect is like a signal to the hemoglobin that says, if the conditions are changing and we need more oxygen in the tissues, don't hold on to it too tightly. Let it go in and help the body. Now, nasal Bohr breathing, it's named after the Bohr effect that we talked about earlier. When you practice nasal Bohr breath work, you're essentially manipulating the levels of carbon dioxide in the body. It's basically teamwork between your breath and your body's chemistry to make sure you're getting the most out of every breath you take. Okay, okay. So yogis, you're asking me, is this the same as ujjayi breath? Well, it's actually very similar. And I believe that the ancient yogis knew all of this information. The only difference with an ujjayi breath is we're contracting the back of the throat very slightly during the ujjayi breathing, but it's the same concept. Pilates breathing. Pilates breathing, Joseph Pilates taught, and we teach in Pilates to breathe through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Inhaling wide through the rib cage into the back of the rib cage, expanding. Similar concept, except you're exhaling through your nose. A nice slow exhale through the nose. Okay, the biggest question, cardiovascular exercise. How do you inhale and exhale through your nose? Can you do nasal bore breathing with cardio? Yes, you can. It's hard and it requires a lot of retraining. I know because I have been retraining myself. 
but it is actually very effective and it will make you a much stronger athlete. If you are interested in learning more about boar breathing, I have some wonderful links below. There are affiliate links that you can check out and also some videos. I highly recommend boar breathing and I feel like if I learned boar breathing as a young athlete, I would have been a much more effective athlete. If you or if you know anyone that can benefit from this, share this with them. Tell them about boar breathing and tell them to start practicing it. Send it to coaches. Send it to people. This is how we should be breathing, even at night. In fact, boar breathing has been talked about in the dental community. If you breathe properly through your nose, it helps your posture. It helps your face. It helps your teeth. It's fascinating. Okay, friends, I challenge you to practice boar breathing to go try it. Go for a walk and breathe through your nose. Go for a run. Practice yoga, practice Pilates, practice all these things and just breathe through your nose. Namaste, friends.